I'm with Dr. Peter Bloom Jensen, Chief Scientific Officer of Metamark Genetics, and thank you for being here, Peter. Um, if you would, why don't you start us out by telling us a little bit about Metamark Genetics, what you do, and, and why you all are unique. I'll be happy to. Um, Metamark Genetics is really a personalized cancer uh, biotech diagnostics company uh, founded by a group of prominent scientists, uh, including Raju Kuchilapati, who is the organizer of the meeting here, uh, Ron DePeno, Linda Chin, Ken Wick, and uh, David Rem. And uh, it is based on uh, being able to predict the risk of progression for early stage cancer patients based on looking at the quantitative levels of proteins, not genes, uh, in a multiplex fashion and um, uh, in early stage tumors and see which patients will progress to death. Uh, we are doing that with an entirely novel platform that we built there, a uh, quantitative multiplex immunofluorescence platform that we have integrated with advanced, so-called advanced object recognition to be able to do this fully automated, digitalized, without any pathologist intervention and um, in such a way that we can develop much more accurate tests. Some of the distinguishing features uh, uh, relative to standard genetics-based companies include that we are looking only at the functional drivers of the aggressive cancer phenotype. And by looking at the proteins in a multiplex fashion, we can look at the regions of interest in intact tissue in contrast to genetics-based platforms where you ground, grind up the tissue. Uh, so we have certain markers that tell us this is tumor region of interest or stroma. We have other markers that are the actual biomarkers. And we look in the same intact biological area so that we get the quantitative multiplex information that way more accurately. Um, we um, have recently been able to uh, have a push-free system in the CLIA setting where with, uh, in a fully automated mode, we can develop the results as, as risk scores for the patients. And that's delivered then back to the referring physician. And we're doing that on standard formalin fixed paraffin embedded tissue. The first test we are planning to launch is the prostate cancer biopsy test. For early stage cancer biopsies, there is the problem of overtreatment in this country. And uh, we want to be able to avoid that and, and potentially refer those that are at really uh, at real low risk to active surveillance cohorts. Mm -hmm.